Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about the Tape Measure tool. So, Tape Measure is interesting because it lets you do a couple things. It lets you actually check the length of the distance between one point and another point, but it's also how you create linear guides and uh, what's well, one, one way to do it. Uh, and we're going to take a look at how to do both those things right now. All right, so first up, let's just talk about checking measurements on things. There's a yeah, different ways to do it because you have different input methods. So right now, I'm in just draw mode with my pencil. Uh, if I come and choose the tape measure tool, tape measure tool is not part of the default tool list here. You just hit the ellipse and go pick tape measure from inside the menu. So there's a bunch of options here. There's there's all uh, you know red, green, blue, and your magenta snaps. We'll we'll touch on that in just a few minutes. That has more to do with guide drawing. There's a couple options here for deleting and and hiding guides as well. But we're gonna talk like I said. First things first. Just measuring, let's just check. I wanna see how wide these stairs are. That's all I wanna worry about. What I can do is I can come hover over and touch on a point and then take my cursor or my, the tip of my pencil to another point and it will tell you right up here what that length is. That's it, that simple. And guess what? It doesn't get more complicated if you change your modes. So if I wanna see how, how tall my stairs are, I hard press here hard press here and it's going to tell me exactly what the length is there. All right, let's see how tall these are these steps are overall. I got to go a big measurement with my finger cuz you know, big dumb finger. So I'm going to come down here, I'm going to hard press on that point and I'm going to move up and then hard press on that point and it's going to tell me that is 6 foot 8. Pretty cool. Uh mouse, guess what? It works exactly the same way. Let's let's see how uh how wide one of these stairs are, click here, move your mouse here, click, one foot two, 14 inch steps. That is it, that's how, that's, if you're just checking dimensions, it's that simple. Now, if I wanted to scale my whole model using this command, what I could do is I could click from one point to another point, and then come in here and say, rather than make that one foot two, let's just make that 12 inches even and hit enter. You'll get a little pop-up that says, do you want to resize this whole model? If you hit yes, it will rescale the whole model. See how it just shrunk? So now, if I check a dimension here, that's one foot even rather than 14 inches, which it was before, because the model scaled. So, so where my, my risers, vertically this dimension was 10 inches before, now it's eight foot and nine sixteenths because it is smaller scale than it used to be. All right, so that is how scale works and how you can scale your whole drawing using a single dimension with the tape measure tool. But now let's talk about guides a little bit. How do you place guides? Um, guides are super simple. Guides are great because they're, they're edges you can put onto a model. They're lines you can see, you can snap to, but they don't break geometry. So let's say I wanted a, a, a dotted line across here that I could reference. What I could do with tape measure is click on, let's go back, I want to go back to the original scale because uh, I have weird dimensions before. I can click on this point and I can drag up to create a guide. So that's what we'll do. We'll come in here, tape measure tool. I click right here. You can see as I pull up, I'm pulling up a guideline right now. It's always going to move perpendicular to that first line. So I can move it out any direction as long as it's perpendicular, which to this red line means I can come out on the green axis, I can go up or down on the blue axis, and those are my options. If I want to, I can put it at a specific location. So see, I'm, I'm just kind of arbitrarily dragging up and dropping it. But if I wanted to go to it exactly two foot even, for example, I go 24 inches, hit enter, and then that line is right there at 24, which is kind of middle of that step right there. You do have the ability to lock it, right? So if, if I just wanted to pull a line out, I could turn on the green axis. And then when I grab that same line and pull it out, it's only going to go on green. I can't move it up and down the blue because I'm constrained to that one axis. This is pretty much how it works. If, you're, if you just want to come in and measure stuff and you don't want your guides to show up, you can turn on, turn, well, 
turn on turn off guides <laughs> click this icon right here and then it won't be drawing guides if you want to get rid of guides at any point you can always tap delete guides and it'll get rid of anything but again all i got to do to come in and, and create those is pick on any line any and this is the cool thing is that it lets you do that to any edge so it can be any edge and you see that one of this this is what i was saying before it doesn't break anything so if i wanted to come in and draw an, a line now on this edge I could draw a line on that edge, but this surface is still one piece because guides don't break geometry. So pretty cool option to have. It's a great way to get reference on, the, on your screen without going through and messing your geometry up. And uh, all done with the tape measure tool. So if you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week. You'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, Leave us a comment down below. Do you like using the tape measure tool? Do you use it to scale? Do you use it to chuck dimensions? Do you use it to create guides? What do you use it for? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.